Köln and Borussia Mönchengladbach with two and five Bundesliga titles respectively faced off against each other in front of a full house of 50,000 people for a derby that has one of the fiercest rivalries in the Bundesliga. Köln, unbeaten at home after 12 games, was slightly the better side in the first 45, but could have been a goal down just before half-time when Denis Zakaria unleashed a powerful shot that rattled the post. A derby is always a very special occasion, being there is something else. Köln were hungrier for the ball throughout the game and five minutes after the restart, they deservedly took the lead. Summer signing, Dejan Ljubicic got his first goal for the Billy Goats to send the crowd wild. As Köln continued their habit of scoring after the break. But with just over an hour gone, Gladbach started to exploit a nervousness that had crept into the host's play. Alessand players shot thumping back off the woodwork. There was still a quarter of an hour to play when Jonas Hoffmann drew the foals level with his seventh goal of the season. It was a new personal best for him and it punished Karl's nervy stance at that time. However, far from letting the game out of their clutches, Köln fought harder and were rewarded a few minutes later when substitute Mark Oot, born and bred in the city, got a derby goal to cue more celebration and to make it 2-1. The Billy Goats then took off. First, Andre Duda, who'd seemed keen to score all afternoon, made good on his threat to make it 3-1. His 20th ever Bundesliga goal setting Köln on track for a famous victory. Deep into added time, Sebastian Anderson brought on late for Anthony Modest, got his name on the score sheet for only the second time of the campaign with a powerful header which went in off the frame of the goal. In their first Rhineland derby, it was a day to remember for Stefan Baumgart and one to forget for Adi Hütter as Köln deservedly won 4-1.